this is Paul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I was reading the back of this magazine, mm -hmm. and it says the Get Down. Yes. And uh, you can see uh, new episodes of it on the Netflix. Yeah. But what I thought was very important was the actual fashion of the individuals in the show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, it might be somewhat of a stereotype, yes, mm -hmm. that a lot of African Americans have a certain style, mm -hmm. quite possibly a cultural style. Mm -hmm. Now, you can see this individual here with a very long coat, mm -hmm. but if you look at their shoes... <laughs> <laughs> and their hat, yes. Mm -hmm. I had noticed that a lot of people, yes, mm -hmm. they have a style. Now, you can see this person's hat right here, yes. Mm -hmm. And then the afro right there, yep. Mm -hmm. And he's got some sort of a facial hair, mm -hmm. at least it looks like it's facial hair, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I'm concerned about the suit this morning. <laughs> When I was a financial consultant, I had uh, suits, and then I did wear a tie. Yeah. And I did that for probably the first, oh, three or four years of my career at WM Financial. <laughs> See, I had stereotyped, what does a stockbroker look like? <laughs> now, there's the suspenders. Right. And then the button-down shirt. Yes. And then the tie. Mm-hmm. And um, I uh, really did like the three-piece um, suit, yeah, you know, where you have a vest, yeah, you know, a tie, mm -hmm. then you have the jacket, and then you have the slacks. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, it's difficult for a lot of people to take me seriously because I'm not in a suit and tie. Yes, and in the past, I've talked about pimping. Mm -hmm. But today I'm going to talk about how white people, yes, in suits, yes, pimp this nation. <laughs> because I'm white today. <laughs> now, uh, somebody's really been pimping. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the Caucasian world, yes, when you approach an individual and you have a suit and tie on, there's a certain way that men look at each other. <laughs> Let's say you were wearing a bow tie. <laughs> B-O-W. I had owned a large number of clip-on bow ties. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought that they were very interesting. There were different styles and different colors, different fabrics. Yes. And then I owned a lot of actual uh, long ties that you tie around your neck. Yeah. But I never learned how to tie all the ties, uh, how they should be tied. Mm-hmm. And I was always a little self-conscious about that, that the individual that I was talking to yes, would be evaluating how I tie my tie. <clears throat> now, we're going to do the white people way of doing things today. <clears throat> See, what I wanted to do was to use the actual judicial system of the United States. <clears throat> and then I thought every suit that I would wear, yes, would cost at least $10,000. <clears throat> Because when you put $10,000 on, you're ready to go out of the house and do some business. <laughs> now, for all of those African Americans that have been stereotyped as, well, pimping, <laughs> there's a, a white one. <laughs> How is your suit and tie today? <laughs> now, some of these attorneys, yes, I would think that many of them wear a two-piece suit. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they, they uh, monogram the suit with their initials. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they have that special tie that they like to wear to court. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cufflinks. You know, I had purchased some French cuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where you, you put the, the, the cuffs go back and then you put the, the um, not a tie clip, they're a typo clip. I'm, I'm, I'm going to think of it in just a second, but... Cufflinks. That's right. <laughs> now, let's say I did do the white way of suing. Right. I think a $10,000 suit. Yes. With French cuffs. Yes. And uh, cufflinks. Right. And a, a, a suit you know, with a, with one of those ties on. Yes. And then there's what's known as a tie tack. 